Hello there, this is Vlad with the Bitcoin Takeover and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Shamir backup on your Trezor Model T. The Shamir backup is based on the specifications developed by Satoshi Labs in 2017 for SLIP39 which describes the Shamir secret sharing algorithm and in itself, the Shamir secret sharing algorithm was developed by a cryptographer whose name is Adi Shamir. And it's been exactly one year since the Shamir backup was added to the Trezor Model T. So what is the Shamir backup and why should you do it? Well, it's like a middle ground between a simple just seed phrase backup that you do with 12 or 24 words and the multi-sig that you can do in as many parts as you want with as many signatories as you want. Likewise, with a Shamir backup, you can have as many parts and a threshold. For example, I can have a two out of three setup where I keep one part, I give another part to my lawyer, and I give another part to my mother. And if I ever want to spend any of my Bitcoins, I'm going to have to go to one of them and ask them to give me their share. The difference from a multi-sig is that you have to put all the parts together in one place. I think the multi-sig has the advantage that you can sign from a distance. The multi-sig is better suited for companies, for corporations, for multiple stakeholder approaches where you need many members to have access to the keys to be able to spend the funds. So that's kind of a sophisticated multi-stakeholder approach when you do a multi-sig. But with the Shamir backup, it's much more individualistic and centered around the needs of a person who doesn't want to store it all in one place and wants to distribute or share with others so that the likeliness of losing the funds gets lower. So depending on your needs on the Trezor Model T, you can set up to 16 shares and the threshold up to 16. You can do 16 out of 16. You can do one out of two. You can do two out of three. You can do three out of three. It's all your choice, but you gotta understand your thread model and you gotta know why you're doing it because I'm going to set it up, plug, it, plug this Model T to my computer and you're going to see that it takes like 10 to 15 minutes to do the backup. But as a good security practice, it's good to grab different pieces of paper and write each share on a different piece of paper and then store them in different places. And if you also want to take this seriously, you should also get metal plates or engrave your words in something that resists much better than paper. Because if you take a piece of paper to somebody and they don't know what this is and it's part of your required thread model, well, they can lose it and you don't want to lose too many shares because the Shamir secret sharing system allows you to lose some parts, but you don't want to lose all of them. And if you rely too much on paper, it can be a bad idea. Also, as a good security practice, and this is my last piece of advice, it's better if the people with whom you're sharing parts of your secrets, and by secrets I mean private key, it's better if they don't know about who the other one is or what this actually is. So you can just tell them, hold this for me. I'm going to need it later and ask you to come and bring it to me at some point. And if you trust them enough, then it can be a good idea. For situations where you also want them to spend at some point, I suppose it's better to just do a multi-sig. But at the same time, the multi-sig requires a greater understanding of technical matters to actually perform a signature. Whereas in the case of a Shamir backup, all you do is just write the 20 words that get generated in one share and put them together. And you're going to see that you generate the private key which gives you access to your funds. Furthermore, I, I said that would be the last mention, but I have to say something more. You can set it up in the Tor browser and there is a guide for which I'm going to post a link in the description below. 
and you can also do a passphrase and add a pin number to your device so that you add extra layers of security. Without further ado, let's do the setup, man. Alright, so right now I'm sitting at my desk and as you can see I'm about to plug in the Trezor Model T to my computer. Starting up, it doesn't do anything right now because I reset it and I'm going to configure it right in front of you and let me also record the screen so that you see what's going on separately. Just a few seconds. Okay, and as you can see, this is the Tor browser. So I've opened Trezor.io in the Tor browser and there was only one small configuration that I had to make to Tor to enable it to also allow me to create a new wallet and use it with the Tor browser. And this is great because it grants you more privacy and my connection gets routed to all of these proxies in Lithuania, Switzerland, and Germany. So it's a good idea to do it. Now I've just doxed my location, not my location, but my circuits. So I'm going to generate another one and go to wallet. And I pick Trezor Model T because that's what I have right here. Now it asks me to check the seal I did unseal it when I unboxed it, so I know that it's authentic. And I continue to the wallet. This is a way of checking to see if there is no tampering or supply chain attacks. And in this menu, you're going to pick create a wallet. And now you get to choose between a basic single backup and the Shamir backup. This is what we're going to do, the Shamir one. And now you go to the device. It's all about the Trezor Model T from this point on. And I hope that you can see it. So it asks me to agree with the terms and conditions, terms of service. I just agreed. And now it says I create the backup for the wallet. I set the number of shares. And let's say that I do a two out of three. So there's going to be three shares. Let me make sure that you see this. So it's going to be three shares. And I hit continue. And now I'm supposed to set the threshold. So how many of these shares are necessary to generate the private key? And I hit continue once again. And I'm going to set it to two shares. I think that's enough for this demo. And right now it's going to ask me to write all of these free shares, all of which contain 20 words. So I hit continue and now it says to never make a digital copy or take pictures of this screen, which is a very good security advice. So that's what I'm not going to do, but for the purpose of this demo, you're going to see some details. And I hit, I understand. And I'm going to have to write 20 words on paper for now. And later we can put it on metal plates or whatever. Bill fuddles and crypto steals and the mothers of all backups. And I have a piece of paper and a pen. I'm going to write this. And the first word is render. And the second word is item. This is relevant because in Shamir backups, the first three words are actually identical. The third one is academic. And from this point on, they're going to vary. So three words of the same backup are identical and the next 17 are different. This is a way of allowing you to make sure that when you do more Shamir backups, you can tell from which, from which backup each share belongs. So from this point on, I'm going to speed up the video and I'll let you know how long it takes. Okay. 
After you're done, you're going to have to hold the button to confirm and it's going to ask you for three random words of your sequence of 20. If you make a mistake just like I did, it's going to ask you to go back to the part where you write the words, check them again, and you have to do all the three steps of confirmation once again. So right now it says that I have finished setting up my shares. I have my backup which is done. And on the screen of my browser it says that it's preparing my Trezor. Now it's in the wallet interface. There's still nothing going on on the screen, but it's a good idea to set up your pin lock. And when you do, you're going to see that the keyboard gets scrambled. So you get protected from pattern determination attacks. And if you go to your Trezor device and advanced, you can set up a passphrase, which is like the word which makes the funds unspendable. Nobody's going to be able to spend the funds on this device without having the passphrase. And it's also a good idea to go to check recovery seed. And you hit continue. And from here you're going to have to check all the words in order. It's going to ask you how many words you have per share. I have 20. And it asks me to enter all of, at least two of the shares. And I get to use this keyboard, which I hope you're seeing, to type, for example, the first word is render. This is just an extra step that's recommended before you put any funds to make sure that you haven't made any mistakes when writing the words on paper. And what did I tell you about not putting all the words on the same piece of paper? It's a terrible idea, right? So if you want to generate shares, it's better to tear them apart and differentiate between them, cut them. I have the scissors right here and I have my first chair and my shares two and three are here. If I were to store any funds, which I'm not, because you can see all the words here, I would just put them in different places or at least give one to somebody else who lives in a different place. And it requires me to have two of them to be able to spend the funds. So I can lose one. I can just not have it at the time and recover my funds, but if shares get lost, it's a good idea to do a difference in your backup so that you're not under the risk of losing another share and therefore losing all of your Bitcoins. So this has been it. It's really this simple to do a setup. Trezor has made it accessible to anyone with the Model T, but you really need to understand why you're doing this, why it's required what kind of threat model you have and basically why you need to do a Shamir backup as opposed to something simpler. But it's a lot simpler than a multi-sig and you should check it out if you can. Experiment with it, play with it before you put any funds and make sure you feel comfortable with the setup because you're the one who knows best and don't let anyone else tell you what you actually need. So thank you for watching and happy first anniversary Shamir backup on the Trezor Model T. And thank you Trezor for sending me the Model T on which I've done this experiment.